Yeah, thanks, Ryan. Uh, good, good to be on the show, Coach K. Good to, uh, so, good to meet good you. To meet you. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, a bit of a uh, amateur trader. I, I climbed in in uh, mid 2017, and I've, I've basically been hodling. Uh, when it crashed, I, I kind of just sat back uh, when it went down in 2017, and I've, I'm keen to get back in the. Well, I'm keen to start being a little bit more active. Uh, mm -hmm and start trading a little bit more. So I thought I could perhaps run through my, my very models portfolio with you and you can maybe yeah. give me a little bit of uh, advice how to be, be more active with this rather than... than right, um, tell us what, what's in your portfolio. What's in what your portfolio? You yeah. Let's find out. Okay, I want to go from the top down. So I've got a, mm -hmm. a healthy uh, ETH uh, investment, um, quite a bit of Bitcoin, um, and then I've got smaller investments in Litecoin, Ripple, Stellar, and then... BSV just popped into my profile at some point. I don't know, I don't know what that was. That was probably some split. The fork. Yeah. Very, very, very small. <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> Ethernet, Bitcoin, the, the, the primaries, and then a little bit of a spread between Litecoin, Ripple, and Stellar. Those are good hodls. Those are all majors. Um, I mean, BSV, we all, anyone that really is, a, I guess, an OG or someone who truly believes in Bitcoin knows that, you know, there's a big liar behind that whole entire thing named Craig, Craig Wright. Uh, I really personally don't have anything against him. I just think that, you know, Coach, I don't really I, like I know you don't have are... anything against him, but I mean, is there any fundamental reason to hold BSV? I mean, do you think that BSV... No. no. Who are, are any of the, you have to ask yourself questions because some people always tell me, well, this coin is bigger than Bitcoin or would be bigger. And I always say, who is investing in those coins? I'm like all the big hedge funds, you know, I'm sure governments around the world are starting to probably get a little bit of a position in Bitcoin. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they, they see it as the real one. So who is, who is the real, um, or, you know, who, what is the real Bitcoin? Well, clearly it's not Craig Stephen Wright, right? It's it's definitely um, you know the real true Bitcoin, the one that's proven itself over time, and the one that you know doesn't have a fearless leader because it's supposed to be decentralized, right? And I, yeah, I would I tell you that say, Bitcoin I, is. The I, truth. Say, I can't see a fundamental case for holding BSV. I'd probably drop that out of the portfolio. But they have bigger um, blocks. <laughs> <laughs> bigger blocks, right. so, no so, bigger is better. Neil, we are taking you that. Like, come on, <laughs> Neil, we're taking BSV out of your portfolio. Dump the BSV. So we've told you what to get out of your portfolio, and the question is now, what do you put into your portfolio, Coach? What yeah. would you add that portfolio with the money from from the sale of the BSV and the money from the sale of some of the XRP? Because Neil's going to make a lot of profit on XRP. Um, what, what would you add to the portfolio? 